Hello everybody and welcome back to Warp Frame, the Duviri Paradox. And today we're going to continue on with the Paradox quest. And yeah, right now we're doing the Harbinger of Joy. And from what I know, from what I know so far, uh, There's the person that rules this world, and... Either you keep stewing over your grudges against the king's decks, or you channel that energy into something positive. It's up to you. So yeah, the, <sighs> the king has varying emotions that affect the... I don't know. I guess just oh, Duviri. Oh. I don't know what's called this place. And yeah, we this have to like. Did they, they just called me stupid? Anyways, we have to keep on. Yeah. Oh, they're fighting something. Yeah. Now it's been like a week. Okay, so right now the the king is happy, so everything is nice and colorful out here. Like a child hiding its face in play, Mathilla hid from the truth. Nothing but joy mattered. And so we had to play through like these little fables to I don't know entertain the king and reveal the paradox. Okay, let's see. Let's look at our decrees. So we have Dueler's Outburst uh, on critical hit, gain 30% melee attack speed for 3 seconds. That's pretty neat. Uh, oh, I think we're going to go for this. Because <laughs> I'm not going to get too many headshots. And getting some health back sounds pretty nice. Speaking of which, let's uh, heal ourselves and get back on our horse. Hold on, it looks like uh, everything's a little bit too loud. So let's turn that down. Get that back. Get back in. There we go. Here we go, time for a Warframe. Warframe section, woo! So what are we doing this time? Survival... Oh, we're doing... So, 
This is like an alternate reality to uh, the normal Warframe universe where things aren't quite right. And so things are kind of leaking into here from the normal Warframe universe. Like the corrupted Grenier and and these extractors and stuff. Sorry, there's a lot of a lot of folks out here. Wow, that was a terrible shot. Let's get some more power to there. So, every percentage of power that we get is... So every percent of power is a second of time. So we need 32 seconds. There we go. Oh, it actually tells you how much... It tells you if it's full now. I remember in the early days, you could just keep on adding, uh, adding time to it that it did not need. Um, and you could, you can still add more cells to it. It will just recharge the the shields. of the extractor. The enemies will try to destroy the, ex the extractor. Um, but you can easily deal with them. Marking void treasure extraction site. And you have unlimited extractors, so don't fret if things don't go quite right. Oh, hey, buddy. And it feels so different to like switch to a Warframe from the Drifter. Oh, hey, Fusion Moas. Okay, they're actually starting to ramp up to some of the difficulty here. Some kind of challenging enemies. I'm kind of curious how this is going to tie into like the normal Warframe story. I haven't kept up with it for a while. I know that the new war and stuff came out, but I never played it. Oop. Let's... Where are we going? Oops. There we go. Extractor deploying. A new void treasure may now be extracted. I also am kind of curious where it's going to put you in the... the normal story because... this is kind of like a normal Warframe tutorial. Like, these are all different mission types. In place. Oh no, I didn't mean to create another extractor. That's just kind of annoying. Oh well. Even if it gets destroyed, we still get chaotic from it. An extractor is out of power. Yeah, I know. It doesn't matter. It has a minute and twenty on it. I sense another void treasure. Okay, we just have to wait for thirty seconds and we're done.
I do like that the the Warframe's auto block attacks. Like you have incoming fire, the and you have the your melee out just blocks. You don't have to press anything. Cool. So did not understand that you cannot bring happiness to the world by making unhappiness a crime. <laughs> yeah, that that makes sense. If you make unhappiness a crime, um Yeah, I don't think that that would not work. Ooh. Rolling deals 120 damage to nearby enemies and staggers them. Okay. <laughs> I, I like that one. Uh, rolling reloads equipped weapons. Ooh, that's kind of nice. But I think I might go for this one. I don't think parkour speed is something we're going to really be dealing with at the moment. <laughs> so, yeah. I want to see if I can take out an enemy just rolling hello excuse me look at you with your goofy long arm are are these just like straight up orican people if you don't know, the Orican are the is basically the hyper evolved human civilization that collapsed in the Warframe universe. They're the ones that uh, they tried to colonize another galaxy by sending the Zermen, which. Where was I? Okay, so that big old ship, that's the Zeraman. The Orican sent the Zeraman into the void to go and colonize uh, another galaxy. Some things happened. The Zeraman got lost into the void for a while. Oh, yeah, and they sent a bunch of, like, probes out to the galaxy that they were going to colonize. And those probes came back kind of pissed. And yeah. Oh, wait, what's this? And. <laughs> okay, that's kind of fun. So yeah, the Orcans were kind of beat into submission sucks to be them and yeah and that's like normal warframe universe i don't know what the heck is going on here thunk so we're gonna collect some tams Oh no. Hey, hey buddy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get get in there. I guess they're like technological rams. Ah, there's another one. I'm not abandoning the objective. Yeah, yeah. Howdy, folks. I'm a cowboy. I'm collecting your rams. Howdy. 
Get up, horsey. Got some rams to capture. I mean, some tams. Ah, we... <laughs> if she doubted, she hid it. Her failures merely made her more determined to succeed. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Nearby enemies are affected by the cold status, slowing them. Oh, that's nice. With more health, warframes regenerate. With full health, warframes regenerate five energy per second. Drift. Okay. The target becomes 10% more vulnerable to damage with each shot. Interesting. I'm gonna go with the cold. Let's go. Ah, heck, let's just fly. Here we are. Croft is a messy, chaotic place, and you will need to work so hard to keep it together in there. Oh, but I believe in you. So what's the deal with all these different like personalities? Like we had the what was it? God of Fire last time. Now we have the Harbinger of Joy. Oops. Okay, what are we doing this time? Ah. Reads defenders out of the raw void. Contain the paradox. Kill the enemy. Oh, if you hold the shoot button, you can save the second shot instead of blasting both barrels. So, when Warframe first launched, uh, Teshin was nothing more but the PvP uh, vendor. And this game had not very good PvP mode because you have a bunch of people with their overpowered builds going into a competitive environment. Uh, it's really hard to get into. <laughs> there we go. We three, two, one. So, it's amazing how far uh, Teshin has come. Mathilla embraced optimism with the zeal of a fanatic. Her plan would work. Duviri would be happy. Ooh, after taking damage, uh, immediate, roll immediately to recover 50% of the damage taken. Casting abilities boosts movement speed for, by 100% for 5 seconds. Wow. Oh, this actually might... Because we have this, everybody's going to be afflicted by cult status. If we get around a bunch of enemies, we get more damage. So, funny enough, I think this might be the best thing for us. I think it will play in well. Oh, now we have to find a hidden chest. 
You know, I was gonna say that Teshin kind of reminds me of like Lord Saladin from Destiny. Uh, and now we're finding hidden chests. It's starting to feel a little bit like Destiny. <laughs> I know Warframe and Dest. Happy. So you can stand on your own two feet. Something's sitting nearby. You are going to find it by yourself. Cool. I know Warframe and Destiny have been compared to each other a lot. And honestly, the, the more these have progressed, the more they become comparable because now you have a bunch of like open worlds with quests and stuff and warframe and like repetitive game modes in <laughs> destiny they're still very very different games in terms of like customization and gameplay but yeah, let's get this chest. Oh no, what is this? Oh, we can slow it down. <laughs> Jeez. Now no rational person could look upon this chaos and feel happiness. So Mathilla abandoned rationality. <laughs> oh boy. Every decree collected increases movement speed by 10%. <laughs> After rolling increased critical damage by 40% for 4 seconds. Can 40 overguard? Ooh. Okay, we haven't really been fighting anything. So. We have a whole bunch of combat uh, decrees, but don't really. Haven't really gone into combat. <laughs> Wait, where are we going? We're going. I think some simple little challenges will perk you right up. Ooh, why not have a go at this royal maze? I don't I don't see a maze. Am I missing something? I do remember seeing like a big old hole somewhere. Am I just imagining things? What? There. That's what I was thinking. Will this take me to where I no? Where the heck am I going? Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should have just looked a little harder. There's a big old cave here. <laughs> Okay, let's get off the horse. Let's search this cave. It's an agra stone. Whoa. This is a spooky looking place.
Okay. I see. We have to... Okay, it's going down this way and shooting a laser through the wall. There we go. Okay. That's pointing to that one over there. And that's pointing to... Ow. Nice. Oh, uh, what what did I just shoot? That one's pointing this way. Oh, I'm hearing whispers. Uh Nope. Oh, there it is. Great. So ignoring the big scary noise, uh, drifter ability cooldown reduced by 15%. Ooh. Melee heavy attacks create a shockwave that deals 60% damage. I have not used a single heavy attack so far. Uh, Let's go with cooldown. And let's see what the Harbinger of Troy brings us. Uh, it looks like nothing bad so far. Giddy up, horsey. Uh oh. Oh, that's one, that one's purple. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. That was rude. Uh, investigate the paradox. Uh, you found it. Good. So tell me, did Mathilla's joy wear off on you? I hope you're kidding. You think I'm not paying attention? <laughs> you think I don't know what you're up to? My Dax are searching. We will find your nasty little den soon enough. I hope not. Adios. I said adios. <laughs> Rolled right through the portal. Okay. I'm gonna stick an arm on this figurine. I think there's a few pieces left. Oh! The head. Toward it. Some thing, someone. Some wavering oasis of joy and contentment. Sad thing is, most happiness seems to come by accident. Maybe it's not about getting it, but letting it. Smiling. 
<laughs> I am not. His memories are giving you something. As these emotions flow through you, you take from him his singular power over the world. I don't want shares even. I want out. But look. The Dormazone. It's lit up now. Oh, wait, what? Also, my arm is kind of gray. It's usually fleshy and blue. Let's enter the Dorma Zone. Oh, this is where I logged in. And I figured out I can change the look of my drifter. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> Watch your language. <laughs> um, man, must have been real hungry. <laughs> Ate the whole plate of cubes. Anyways, uh, back outside. <laughs> Covetous courtier. Oh, great. Now, do you believe it? Let's go. Sorry, what do I believe? He's covetous because he's jealous of Teshin. Hmm. Cunning devices like this feed Deviri with power, just so those witless peasants can piss it away. It's wasted on them. Recalibrate it in my favor. Oh, you're the jester. Okay. I do like how the scenery changes with each of the, well, kind of like, emotions. Oh, I see. We're connecting up the power lines. That makes sense. So that goes there, to there, to there. And then, can I make this shot? There we go. Whoa, if you just hold space. Excuse me, horse. I need to unlock, unlock a chest. He 
Ain't that the story of the game? He wanted more. For all that others had was an affront to his being. Okay, let's see. On critical hit, again, 30% melee attack speed. Killing enemy restores health. On headshot, uh, let's go with. Ah, uh, greedy heal actually makes contextual sense. <laughs> We're dealing with the covetous Bombastine. Thrax's power is rooted in the Undercroft. Without it, he's not that big of a deal. Not really. Perhaps you should make your way inside for a little takeover bid. Okay, how far up the hand can we make it? Not that far up. Dang it. I wonder if you can... Fox has drawn void angels to besiege the Undercroft. Undo what their claws have done. Or do Viri may fall to something worse even than Thrax. Void can heal as well as harm. Gather the floating spheres and take them to the rupture. Ah, there are little floating balls. Kind of a neat game mode. Hi, gathering up some void essence. Okay, uh, let's try to find some like. Oh, here's some good void essence. That should be enough to close. Okay, one rift down. There we go. Oh, I'm full on, on energy. So is that like enough to fully... Okay. Don't let the Void Angels free their master. Don't really know what a Void Angel is. And don't really know who their master is. Okay, we're full on Void Essence. So let's fill that up. Oh, I just realized that there's a C if we just immediately went for D. The rupture is closed. The paradox stabilizes. I don't think I quite got...
Okay, there we go. Okay, how much we're going to fill up? Okay, oh. We got knocked down a little bit. Ow. I'm gonna miss having all these this powerful gear. Because thanks to you that will not now I think all of my gear gets reset to like level zero. He persuaded others to his side. But his thoughts were only ever of himself. So, yeah, I think this just goes straight into like the normal Warframe campaign after this. So let's see, what do we get? Okay, that didn't really help last time, I'll be honest. Uh... Let's go with the rolling reloads of weapons. I think that's going to be pretty useful. Hours I've spent gazing into void mirrors, and here you are with some mysterious benefactor gazing back. Deal with those decks and see what your friend wants. Okay, so is this like a combat trial? Come on, come on. Oh. Let's, um, do a quick little heal. I think this guy is just a tank. You just have to avoid his attack. Is it? Oh. Ow. There we go. Oh, heal. Oh, there's more. Okay, I'm... There we go. Gosh, my timing was... Uh oh, I am not doing good.
Okay, just uh, an archer to deal with. Uh. Oh, that was bad timing. Oh, come on. Jeez, Louise. There we go. Woo. Yeah, so with each new conquest, never once did he think. Surely that is enough. Surely now I can stop. Let's see, uh Whoever controls the Undercroft grasps all of Duveri by the roots. I won't let its reputation stand in the way of claiming what's mine. Get in and do what you have to. Nope, still can't get to the top of the hand. Many defensive battles within the origin system were lost. Through the paradox, you now have the chance to undo those defeats. Wait, what? No time to rest. Already a new onslaught begins. Whoa. Great, a defense mission. Everybody's favorite. I kind of wish I had a frost here so that I could make a blow fiercely. The rains do not relent. Still, the stout bow stands. Yeah, I wish I had a frost here so that I could just make a protective dome around it. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just savor the anticipation while you can. It's a time-tested strategy to just m get a frost, make a bubble around that. Oh, hey, buddy. That's not gonna work with me around. Oh, I missed someone. They're hiding in the hologram. Oh, we have four more waves of this. Three more waves. Okay. Yeah. Uh oh. I do like that they give you a fully powered Warframe. 
just to do this quest with. Because the regular Warframes are just not that good at doing things. That's right. <laughs> I don't have to reload. I can just roll. Bam, 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 bam. Doki, where are they? There they are. And this is the last wave that we have to deal with. And we'll continue with the mission. Ooh. Oh. Beyond hope of return, Bombastine set his heart on the throne. Was he not as good a king as Thrax? Okay, let's see. Casting abilities boosts movement speed after taking damage. Roar immediately. Uh. Oh, that sounds good. That means we can just like heal and we have a chance for just to heal again. That sounds good. Those sentries look down on me. There goes Bombastine, they say. Fire a shot over his head and watch him jump. <laughs> hey, you're taking him down to my Ow, ow, ow. I don't remember what the, my other skills do. Okay, let's just deal with you real quick. Okay, uh, heal. There we go. So, what did Bombastin do? Not gonna tell us? And so, the envy that might have motivated him to better himself hurled him headlong into disaster. Ah, Bombastine, you fool. Melee, heads atta melee attacks hit twice. Ooh. Every third melee attack deals 100% toxin damage with status. Ooh. Oh. I, 
I didn't even read the third one. Oh. <laughs> so. Oh, that's right. Guiding hand leads me. I forgot I had that. <laughs> that would have been really helpful. Okay, guiding hand. Show us where to go. Oh, never mind. Let's just. That meddlesome witch, Akritha, says there is hidden knowledge in the old shrines. Assemble one. She can't keep it all for herself. I think that's my hand that's traveling. Defeat attackers and collect shrine pieces. Ow. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh oh. There we go. Sorry, I didn't mean to lock on. I meant to pick up a shrine part. Did I miss one from the first wave? I did. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, I don't like that. Oh, that's an unavoidable attack. Come on. There we go. It's not fair. The things I did were supposed to break her, not make her his favorite. I was meant to be the one who was loved. Me. Okay, where's the worm? There's the worm of greed! Let's see, heavy attacks and create a shockwave that deals 60% damage. Uh huh, uh huh. You know, let's go for that. I've seen it like a million times now. 
Also... Oops. Well, as long as the worm isn't coming after me. Hey, Bombastine. Oh, this is where he was originally. Now we grab the head. It wasn't me that started stirring up this mess. Oh, a hand. You got it in your head to get out. Don't you see now? These stories are for you, for us. Interesting. So, it's basically ruling these lands and telling us stories of things that have happened in the past. No, Lua. <clears throat> oh, the cat. I guess we now have a head to find. Nothing's worse than anger, right? It burns your lungs. It ashes the trees. But you can see it, right? And after it passes, maybe something new sprouts up. The resentment. Resentment is desolation. It salts the soil so that nothing ever grows again. Didn't see it coming, didn't you? That I was just using you. You think there's some magic land outside of here? All there is, is war and suffering. Understand? I think so. Do you? Do you really? You keep calling this a prison, but you know what it really is. It's the only place in the entire universe that is actually safe. Yeah, clearly. You had it all, a whole world to yourself, but you were bored, ungrateful. You had to bite the hand that feeds. Like Lua, huh? Like what? Oh. Once upon a time, there was a dying old man. Ooh. Oh. As he lay on his bed, dying, he called to each of his beloved children. Oh, boy. Uh... Okay, I... This is kind of cool. <laughs> so... Oh, Tishin doesn't seem to be in a good way at the moment. When each did hear this rasping call, they answered with a hollow lover. Tishin! Yes! 
Ooh. Okay, so... Uh oh So they came to his bedside, one by one, and his firstborn knelt there. And the old man said, My child, my child, why be your eyes so dry? And the firstborn said, So that I might be strong, father. And so the old man gave to them the deeds for all his lands. Hmm. There you are. Little vampire ninja things. To his second born, he said again, My child, my child, why be your eyes so dry? And his second child said, I shed no tears, father, for I chose now to remember only the joy you made of my life. And so unto him, the old man gave his family home. Mm. Oh, the sound tries. It was bumping there for a minute. There you are. You know what I'm gonna guess? I'm gonna guess that we are actually the the king, or the king is like part of us in some way. So, yeah, what, what I'm thinking is that that's the nature of the paradox. We're all part of one. Okay, let's listen to this bumping music. Why does it only get good at the end? Oh, see, it's gone now. Hi, rabbit thing. Where is he? Don't you worry. Justice comes swiftly in my kingdom. Oh, oh.
Thanks, Rabbit. Um, let's go find Teshin. Well, dang. I kind of wanted to ride my horse here. Oh. <laughs> but it also makes you angry. That's a nice headshot. We're at full health. I'm gonna fight our way. This color scheme is this just like neutral. <laughs> I like how they're all just like falling now. They're just like, oh yeah, now we we kidnapped the wrong guy. Um, Hey, hey now. Those are banished. So, um... <laughs> oh, is it... Oh. Oh. Ha. Close. Oh, hi, hey guys. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a staircase over here. I didn't see that. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Tashin. Take care of Lua for me. I will. You're feeling now. Ah. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Burn, Burn, I say. Ha, 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 ha. Well, Bunny, I think you just gave the Drifter some purpose. Let's dive. Ha ha ha. Well, I'm going to destroy your worms. <laughs> this really count as a stealth kill. Okay. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Here we go. Hey there. Oh. didn't make this place you did but you reset it you gave it all back to him why I guess it felt like a good trade 
Hmm. So, what's next? Those beyond the wall have helped you. You will need to repay that debt. But you've earned your freedom. A way through the paradox and out of the spiral. Be warned. You'll not be as you are now. But as you were then. Do you see it? The other side. Oh, okay. So So basically that's it. That's the Duviri paradox. And now we could stay here, do a bunch of spirals of Duviri. Could be fun, but I think we've State are welcome. Let's go to the origin system. This has been the Deviri Paradox. See you all next time. Sometimes you get stuck. Sometimes you go numb. The color drains away. You stop trying. And that just feeds the spiral going down. Maybe you'll get lucky one day. You see yourself in the mirror and snap out of it. But for some of us, it takes more. A friend, a stranger, a story. A helping hand.